So I have a kingdom spouse message for y'all today. I want you to ask yourself today. If I get my kingdom spouse right now, where are we going? And I don't mean like to no restaurant, to no out to eat, what vacation we going to. No, 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 no. Where are we going? What souls are we about to lead to Christ together? We got to bring people into the kingdom of God when we come into this union. It's work to be done. It's a mission. It's an assignment. Are y'all going to be starting a business together? Y'all going to be opening up a group home? Y'all going to be opening up a daycare? Y'all going to be opening up a, a business of some sort together? What are you going to be doing when you get this kingdom spouse? And the next question is, have you started doing it now? Because your purpose ties into your kingdom spouse purpose right because god has put y'all on the same lines to have the same purpose the same goals the same drive the same values so y'all going to be working together but the question is have you got started on your purpose journey now so when your spouse comes in if he come in knocking at your door tonight are you ready hmm? are you ready let me know if you're ready God want to know if you can save souls by yourself. If you're not saving souls by yourself, and what I mean by saving souls is when you go out to a restaurant, are you speaking life into somebody and letting them know today is a beautiful day? God bless today. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Has you have, are you talking to people? Are you encouraging somebody? Are you uplifting people? Even if it's online, have you uplifted somebody today? Have you spread the gospel to somebody today? Because this is what you're going to have to do with your spouse. And when your spouse comes in, you need to already have it in order. Because us, we ladies, we just, we got to have it all in order, right? But we have to get started in our purpose now. Because God wants to see our faithfulness and our singlehood. So that he can bless us with our kingdom spouse in a natural realm, right? The third thing you want to do is ask yourself, am I fully, 100% submitted to God? Submissive to God because you have to submit to your spouse right you are choosing a person to be the head of your household if you are a woman and if you are the man you're supposed to be the head of your household so are you totally submissive to God in order to submit to your spouse and that goes both ways because we both have to be submissive now in this marriage thing it ain't just no one-way street it's a two-way street we both got to be submissive. So you will want your husband, ladies, to lead you according to what God is saying, right? Not according to his own thoughts. Because see, man's thoughts can be kind of messed up sometimes. Man can kind of like fill us every time our thoughts. We overthink all that, okay? But God, are we submitting to God? And ladies, this goes for you. You got to know the voice of God. You got to be able to hear God and be obedient to his word now. Whatever he tells you to do now, you got to do it without question. You got to do it at the drop of an eye when he say do it. Don't hold on to it. Are you holding on like, no, not today, God. I do it tomorrow. Not today, God. I do it tomorrow. Because this is how you're going to be in your marriage. And God knows your heart. So he just wants to prune those areas of your heart to get you prepared for your kingdom spouse. That's it. That's all. He want to make sure that you are well taken care of. Trust me. God want to make sure you're well taken care of. But at the same time, he want to make sure your spouse is well taken care of too. Because God does not add any sorrow when he blesses us. So you have to be 100% submissive to God go look that word up to see what submissive is but you got to be submissive to God in order to be submissive to your spouse you got to be able to listen to your spouse when your husband tell you to do something you got to know that it's coming from God this ain't just no regular marriage baby this is a kingdom marriage okay this is a kingdom assignment that you want so you got to know that your husband hearing from God he got to hear from God but he got to be listening to God and if he not in that place you have to be strong enough to get your husband in that place where you are so that y'all can grow together in God together and walk in your purpose together I don't know about y'all, but 
Y'all ain't getting cold now. It's cold outside. Y'all should watch our kingdom. It's supposed to come tonight. Y'all supposed to be ready. <laughs> Let's rock.